Hi everybody, I'm doing a 30 minute session. This is a spiritual home cleansing session. I'm gonna read some of these details. It's it's a really good story. So I'm gonna post uh, this in the description if you wanna read it all. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch base on some of the, the primary details and then I'm gonna get started. Okay, so for this session, I would like to check my home space for any negative energies and check the deep well that is our water source. So this home um, is my dad's home of 30 years, but I've lived here with him for almost three years since it became apparent that he can no longer live alone. He's 93 years old and has made the comment that he's a prisoner in his own home. I think he's just trying to be funny, but I don't see the humor and we have had to learn to live together comfortably. Our well goes down about 150 feet and dad has been opposed to me having the water check for bacteria, parasites, metals, etc. So these are some of the, the background details. So you've been living upstairs and there are a lot of noises. I don't know if it's air in the vents, little critters in the attic or something else. I sometimes see movement out of the corner of my eye, but of course when I look there is nothing there. I am not uncomfortable in this house. But after watching some of your house clearing videos, I decided to see what you can find for us here, especially as there is deep water underneath us. Okay. Wow. I'm really excited right now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to relax and get connected. Let's take a look. I'm really putting it out there that we want to look at the water too. And the awesome thing about water, it's extremely sensitive to love and energy. So even if you visualize that well as just like a an orb or just a sphere of, of beautiful water, and it's something tangible. Like we can think about a soccer ball of water and then you just see that soccer ball is massive, okay? but you send light into it. You just put um, healing flames of all different colors. You see angels are in there. There's harmonious energies. There's love, there's support, there's connectedness. And you just send that information. It's super powerful just to use these visualization techniques because we're already connected to everything. So you're just like a, like a, a little vein in the super tree of the infinite universe. Um, like you're a branch in there. And so you're just sending information through Throughout the big tree and you're already connected to the water so it's easy to you to put energy positive energy into it but I'm gonna I'm gonna just say that and then I'm gonna see what I run into here all right so the first thing I experience is I mean it has got a bit of a tiring energy right now and I feel like my nose just like um, poked into a hole and burst a balloon and there's like just some black goop that just splashed onto my face. But it's not intolerable. I mean, it, it seems to instantly, I mean, it's not like I'm covered in this. I don't even seem to care anymore about that because I'm looking around and it's extremely dry and dry beams of wood. So no matter what the house looks like on the energy side of things, this is the effect of the energy and it, it looks and feels like this, okay? So these dry beams of wood are on the floor and the walls and the ceiling and there's bits of creaks as I walk through this room here. Every step I take has a creaking sound to it. So it does have a feeling of um, feeling like an older house, a house that has some creaks. And as I'm walking through this house, I can't stop thinking about that black sludge that hit my face. And I'm wondering if, you know, I'm starting to parallel it with water that um, bursts through a water pipe or something like that into my face and it was just this black goo. But nothing is saying that the water is, is contaminated just yet, okay? I'm just uh, re-examining this and I can't get it out of my mind. I'm constantly thinking about this. And this may actually be coming from you. You're constantly thinking about this. You're worried that the water pipes are full of like black tar energies, like negative energies. Then what's coming out of the drain is really sludge, even if you can't see the sludge, it's there. So there's a there's this feeling, and I and I think it's coming from you <laughs> more than necessarily the water is actually contaminated. 
but okay so the next thing i will say there's just lots of dense energies and they're just like filling up this room and filling up that room and then filling up the room over there and it just feels like it's filling up the room and making it hard for me to walk from room to room there's just so much in the way and it's all clear and it's almost like they're massive balloons and you can't like necessarily walk into a balloon or walk through it. You just kind of like bounce and then you just, there's a balloon in my way. There's a balloon blocking the door. There's a balloon in that room. There's balloons everywhere. I cannot walk through here. And that's what it feels like trying to move. It's like something is in my way energetically. So I'm literally just touching this. <sighs> Okay, so so some really happy energy just kind of hits my my emotional gut in my heart, and I feel giddy and uh, silly, and I think about birthday candles and blowing up birthday candles and birthday wishes. Um, I think about happy childhood memories. <laughs> And when I share these memories with the house, um, these balloons start to get smaller. And there's this home hasn't been breathing much for a while. And homes that breathe have, you know, it's like a person. A home is also like a person. So people, we like to have warm memories too. We like to live our lives and have experiences and try to work through those experiences. Hopefully they're more like birthday wishes than anything else. Um, but that's life, okay? So the home is with us on all of this stuff. So when life gets kind of stagnant on all the vibes, you know, uh, then what is it working with? It feels kind of stagnant on the vibes. So... Um, it doesn't, it hasn't been breathing in a lot of these like really happy, like, um, birthday wishes type memories. And it wants more of these. Uh, it just makes me think of brittle bones. Ugh. And I think, I think you had written something about your dad had broken his leg actually. And then, yeah, that's it. And he's actually coming back home, uh, tomorrow. <sighs> I, okay, there's just a lot of mo emotional movement going on here, so I'm just letting it pass through. And it does, it feels like the boards are, because they're dry and they're creaking, they're like, they feel like the boards could break, like brittle bones. So, just give it a minute here, I'm just relaxing this all down. There's just a lot of exhaustion and like carrying too much weight, but it's just energy. Hasn't been breathing, so it's getting stifled. And it's hard to move to the upstairs. I'm still here, what would be like the first floor kind of thing. And I'm still trying to get to the water source, but I'm showing this first, okay? So got to do this first. I'm doing something special for you and your dad. I'm actually like planting little seeds all over the place to um, grow gardens of beautiful flowers here on the energy side of your home. So it feels more fragrant and more actively alive, um, more like nature is as on the inside of the home and absorbing any of the negative vibes and refreshing the home with like clean oxygen, even energy oxygen is powerful so you can put energy oxygen into anybody and it will amp up their um their bodies it really does it really does work so um putting lots of uh, energy plants and stuff in here trees and like jungle life <laughs> it really does create lots of energy oxygen and it, it it clears the air okay from the inside it'll help clear the air and it creates more active energy mm. Okay, this is making a big difference. And I will say the seeds I'm planting are actually, they kind of look like this color. They're like this blue color and they kind of glow like that. And so I'm just planting them all throughout those creaking boards and things. And I'm bringing moisture in here as well. And I'm bringing some sunlight. And again, these balloons, uh, this kind of like a energy that's kind of congesting things is still here but nowhere near the 
the development that it was is starting to subside. And it's kind of the next thing is indecisiveness and I kind of feel like, um, do I go into the kitchen? Do I go up the stairs? Do I go over here? Do I check this out? Do I do this? Do I do that? It feels like indecisiveness. So this house would actually inspire you to also kind of pick up on, um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't encourage you to have like solid, I mean, it, a house that is going to really work in your favor is not going to have indecisive energy in it <laughs> because this is going to be distracting and you're going to pick up on it even if you're, you're not quite aware that it's there. Um, it's going to keep you kind of um, not, I mean, it's, it's going to kind of jam up your receptors a little bit, okay? It's not horrible, but it is lingering here. Do I go there? Do I go there? Do I go there? I'm <laughs> like, you need to make a choice. You need to make the choice. Um, just any choice. Any choice will be great. And I'm telling this to the house consciousness. I'm saying, hello, we're going to make some choices today. And we're not going to wonder what those choices need to be. We're actually just going to make the choices. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> so let's see what the house does. <sighs> okay. The house actually cracks into two pieces all the way down into the ground and then it opens it up. So it's like a dollhouse and that opens up and I can see here's half of the house, there's the other half of the house and then it opens up the ground too. Just a minute here. Everything is, the energy just shifted a lot and so I need some time to figure out what it means to me. There, you you are picking up on, you just wanna make sure that the water is healthy water. You're picking up on something uncomfortable, uncertain. And the energy down here is really, um, It, it is a bit lower on the, the level of like joy and celebration. It's not, it's silent, that's okay, but it, it also feels kind of low. It's not like depressed water, but it does feel kind of um, low on the totem pole of, of, of emotion. It's not sad, it's not depressed, it, but it is low. It, is, it has a low feeling to it. And the water, I'm actually touching the water and going into the water and it's shocked. It's actually shocked that somebody is here. And it feels slightly violated. Like, um, and it's not in a negative way. It's just like somebody just went skinny dipping in my body. <laughs> That's how the water is reacting. Like, I don't know what to make of this. <sighs> and so it feels kind of like this. And it's odd, but um, the energy is actually uh, on the sexual level. Like um, there's a, I know it sounds weird and everything, but it, it reacted um, on the sexual side of things. It had a reaction. And sexual, you know, it's like uh, our, our sacral chakra. Water has sacral chakras too. Like it, re it, it connects to all of our emotions as well. So same with houses, same with everything. It's all connected. We're all connected to it too. So um, sexual body, sacral chakra, isn't just about intimacy. It's also about, um, you know, how, how, do we, how do we love ourselves? How do we feel loved in this world? How are we translating that love? How are we, um, I mean, it's all about like, um, on a, like where is the, the intimacy of life and how am I processing that? And intimacy can be just love, you know? It could be warmth. It could be um, a really meaningful connection, you know? And it can be all those types of emotions. And so when I come in here, it's like, um, it does feel slightly violated and it's, and it's got a sexual reaction to it. Like, um, I touched it in inappropriately <laughs> or something. So, so I'm trying to make sense as to why it felt that way. And 
it actually feels like it, it's kind of forming itself against a wall and the actually the floor of it is full of spikes so when I go to the ground I'm standing on the ground it's full of spikes and then it's all like this water is just all like pulled itself together and is up against the wall and looking at me <laughs> it's it's really uncomfortable with me it's just seems like it's been um long forgotten about kind of thing the spikes aren't hurting me just so you know but that's again a sign of I mean it's not balanced it's protecting itself from I might be the infection I just relax those spikes I tell the water you can be whatever you want to be and I don't see you as gross water. I don't see you as not good enough for me. I just see you as water. And I just want to get to know you better. Because you're a special and important part of the home. And the home, if you didn't notice, is kind of dried out. And, and I just planted a bunch of seeds in there so I could use some energy water too. And, you know, we need to moisturize the, the, the energy atmosphere of the home. See what water says. Hmm. It's very peaceful now. Very serene. It's in a meditation. I mean, it totally let go of those concerns. And those might also be your concerns too. So whatever I see, um, it can also be instigated by um, other people associated with the home. So I feel peaceful. I feel in between the sunrise and the sunset. I am a woman and I'm meditating. And it's kind of like a beach, but I don't feel like I'm on the sand. But I'm propped up above and I'm sitting on something and I'm very comfortably meditating in a very specific. I mean, I've got the great posture going on here. But I have no worries, no concerns. I'm balanced. I don't know. I got some idea that I would never tell you to... to you know, I would never tell you that. I would always encourage you. I mean, why not check your water? You know, you could just you could just get like some water, and then put it in a vial, and then take it to a place and have them just double check it, right? But I had a, a weird idea that your dad's been here for thirty years and he's ninety three years old. If the water was contaminated, it would be. Um, I think it would have shown up by now. You know what I mean? But again, you can always get it checked. Just do it behind his back. <laughs> There's always ways just to be on the safe side, right? <laughs> but, you know, you got to feel this one out for yourself. But I will say that I've cleared a lot of the fears and concerns out of the water. And now it's really meditative and it's got a feminine vibe to it. <laughs> And this water has been, I mean, it shows itself. I'm starting to understand the sexual connection because it shows itself as like a divine feminine womb. That it, it's been cradled in this divine feminine womb for a long time. And the womb has um, held it. And the womb has, um, I mean, it's like a baby inside the womb. And it's been nurtured. It's been taken care of. It's been cared for. In a way, it's got a holiness to the way it likes to um, express that information. So me coming into the water and the way that it reacted, like, um, you're not supposed to be in there, in here. Like, I'm an infection. Like, I'm not a good thing. But once it starts to realize that I'm just visiting, and it, it, rea it, it calms down and re relaxes, and then it helps me to understand why I'm seeing these other details. I asked the water, what, what can I do for you today? 
Is there anything else I can do for you today? This water actually, this is uh, interesting. This water, it has history in it. It's showing me this. And that um, it's wise water. <laughs> so when you drink it, it's, it contains information from the earth. And I get, you know, all water does, but I mean, it, this is really expressing this. Like the library that has been contained in the womb um, has been kept safe and sacred. That's what it feels like. Um, and contains uh, very un, um, untainted uh, wisdoms in it. I mean, it feels if it's relaxing me. I'm gonna have a glass of water from the actual source, okay? I'm just, can I have some of your sacred water? I mean, it's like sacred. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just gonna drink some sacred water. I'm like really excited. It, it keeps sharing images with me about holy water and sacred water and how we respect that the water as wise too that it's special this this there's something very special here there's something very special here with this water and then the fact that your this house is above this special water there's something special now that we can interconnect between this special water um, and then breathe it on into this special house and that's actually really cool i'm i'm really blown away right now so i'm trying to like contain myself with like all the awe that i feel from this it feels you ever walk into a, a church that is, was built a long time ago there's energy there and you can feel really holy energy even whether you relate to christianity or whatever um, but some churches really do hold a lot of beautiful energy and you can walk in and you can kind of feel it and you don't want to speak because you want to respect the energy and you don't want to disturb the energy so the water too is like this. Um, I don't want to disturb the, the holy energy of the water. There's something special about the water. So uh, everything, there's a new energy shift going on here. Which is washing over my face right now. And I'm starting to understand why it felt so low. And it wasn't, it was just simply deep. I mean, I, f I felt the silence, right? But um, I understand it now. Because I don't want to say anything. I don't want to disturb the energy. Because it's, it's holy. It feels like... The holiness of the Divine Mother's womb. It's holy. It's actually making my skin hot on my face. <laughs> and uh, so, so now I understand when I came in here and it was just so, it was quiet. I mean, it was silent and it was low. But you know how there's like the bass, some, somebody who has like a, a, the, the voice that is a bass voice, that too is low. Does that mean it's negative? No, it's just simply very low sounding. <laughs> it's like the bass guitar um, versus a ukulele. The, the bass is just simply very low sounding. It is deep and wise. I have a feeling that your dad knows something about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna just let that be for a moment. I, I actually wanna do some more energy work around the house. Well, the the water and the home are now communicating. Um, the home is uh, is uh, actually humbly asking 
um, the water if it would share some of its love with it. And so let's see what happens. The water is very giving. And it is it's sending energy from within the heart of itself. And it's uh, like recalibrating the energy of the home. It's actually like uh, when your skin gets like ridiculously dry, it's like the ultimate moisturizer. It's going into the cracks and the crevices here. It's really amazing to feel it. I mean, it's going into to everything about the house, every beam, every wall, every everything in the house, the roof and the doors, the windows. I mean, it's going into everything. And it's helping the house to release just another like energy build here. And it's like a, again a big bubble and it's just lifting out. <sighs> kind of makes me think of eating something you shouldn't have eaten. And then you drink water and it just kind of belches out. Like it just kind of jumbles your stomach up. It freaks your stomach out. And then you drink some water and it seems to like purify that. I shouldn't have eaten that. And then it just there's like air pockets that come out it's kind of like this the house is kind of um the water is uh helping to get things moving here and it's releasing some energy pockets there is some a lot of love i'm experiencing right now and then it comes through as the color yellow and I start to see the water is glowing. It glows more blue, but there's somehow yellow that comes out of it, and the house is glowing yellow. And I start to experience more of the, even the soils um, sharing their love as well. The ground itself sharing love. And it's taking care of and this too can be a reflection of, of your love as well and you as a caretaker. Because <sighs> you're attracting that energy, caretaker energy and, and love. And nurture and a desire to really get that nurture in deep, deeper. You're just a really wonderful person, really kind heart. You're just concerned. You just want to make sure everything's okay. You're a good caretaker. I'm just going to see if your dad might actually be... Um, with the right amount of uh, sprucing up here, this house could be um, a very healing home. So if you were being imprisoned in a house, I think this could be um, a nice home to be stuck inside of. <laughs> what? It needs some sprucing up on the energy side of things, but it's not like a severe case. I'm I'm lying. Uh, it's pink, the color pink, and I'm I'm um, having it absorb into the floors, all of them, <sighs> even the upstairs floors, all the floors, <sighs> and the stairs, and now the walls. So we got pink, and we got yellow, and we got blue vibes coming in here. And uh, now suddenly the house opens the windows and the doors and even the air is working together here with everybody and it's breezing uh, really fresh oxygen through the house like it's breezing it through. It's very refreshing. 
And I feel that. I mean, it's almost like it, uh, like the perfect cool breeze. It's exactly what this temperature needs. <laughs> and it's not cold. It's just perfect. You can feel it, but it's not overwhelming. And the plants, the energy plants feel it too. And they just, there's something enjoyable about it for them as well. Hmm. Still trying to get to this the set um upper floor so let's see i'm just gonna i just want to see what i can do here to get not sure why it's it's taking so long it's like i i'm get i've got the water i've got that like this first floor is feeling really good and and i'm getting up there but it's not like i can just bam be there This is going to blow your mind. When I finally get upstairs, there is no upstairs. I go up there and it there are there's nothing. I mean, it's like there's the stairs to go up and when I reach up here, it's all just like it's like the house just got like cut off and then it's just all dark. <sighs> It's just like, where did everything go? What happened here? Where is this upstairs here? Oh gosh, this is so strange. I don't know what to make of this. There's a man and a woman in here and they don't look... They don't have typical human faces, but they're peaceful as well. I mean, they're not making me feel uncomfortable or anything. They have kind of like toad-like faces and bodies. And one, uh, they're kind of like a king and queen in a way because of the way they're kind of emanating, uh, wearing dark purples and, um, and reds. And uh, there's a crown um, on both of their heads. Is that like the frog prince story or is this like a legit... Is this like, what is this? <laughs> I'm just going to hang in here for just a few more minutes here. There's uh, some sadness lingering up here. And um, it's, it's a lot of sadness here. And I'm still trying to get to these two. And I mean, it's like, as I get closer, they get further away. And it's like, well, just come over here already so I can see what are you here for? What is this about? All right. I said what I need to say to them. I'm actually going to just ask my higher self, what what is the next inspiration here? What can I do? I have to find the door, she says. And she says that... I mean, it, she's showing me that even though this looks infinite, like a void in every direction, but I can still see where the stairs are. She says that there's walls and doors and, and everything here. And she's not explaining to me why it's all hidden, but she's saying I have to find a door. So I have to find doors and things. I mean, I, that's what she's saying. So even if there's five doors or 10 doors or just one door um, on the real physical version of the upstairs, um, it doesn't matter the number. Um, I'm just going to find a door, okay? And I'm going to create boundaries that, that defines us as the upstairs of the house. There's so much sadness, my gosh. I'm just letting this vent. So I've created a, I mean, here's a door, bam. I actually create a, a door, a ha like a hallway, a bathroom, I mean, you create like basic stuff. Just to make it feel like a, a home's uh, upper floor. 
walls and a, a ceiling and a roof I create these things but this odd dark dark place and it's not evil it's not an evil darkness I just don't I still don't understand how did the how I've never seen anything like this before um, and it's not necessarily um, disappearing yet Mm, okay, I'm gonna just have to stop here. Before I go entirely, I'm gonna play some Ra the Sun God, you know? I love Ra, he's awesome. So I'm gonna place Ra the Sun God energy in this second floor, this upper floor, okay? So there's Ra the Sun God, there's Ra the Sun God, there's Ra the Sun God. So we're gonna bring lots of sunlight in here, okay? And it's going to feel brighter. And this will help distort whatever the energy is that why it, why it, why it did this happen. So to change energy, we just, we can distort the frequencies that created it, the structure. And once we distort, distort that structure, it has no choice but to change, okay? So bringing Ra, the sun god, and all this sunshine into this place, and my um, creation of the upper floor, it's going to help to separate, if, the, if it feels like it's another dimension, <laughs> it's like a like another dimension, it's just um, mashed up with, <laughs> I still don't know what to make of it, but um, this will help, this will help to distort the energy and, uh, and create more solidity here, help it all kind of seamlessly come together and let that go. I'm even going to tell the home consciousness that you have no responsibility to whatever that is. And I want you to, to let this go. I just, I don't, um, I don't want you to feel like freaked out because that's a very strange thing. Um, on the analy like to analyze that it, it, on the, the scale of what is freaky and not freaky, that was not freaky. Okay. <laughs> it's weird, but it wasn't creepy okay there was nothing um creepy about that energy there was nothing um evil or any uh, about that energy it just happened to be there so we need to take the house back this is the, our house and we're going to re restructure it this is our house and whatever this dimension is it needs to find itself somewhere else and then we're going to just be here with Ra the Sun God and the awesome holy water and all the other awesome soils and awesome energies and the garden that's growing here. I'm going to bring some of these seed, these glowing seeds and I'm just going to spread them about in here too to help grow a garden because I really want to strengthen this energy of love and really solidify the structure of the house. So anything like that, it, it just doesn't belong in the structure of your house. It doesn't. It just simply doesn't. So the more energies I put in here, the more it defines that this is your house, your structure, and nothing else belongs here but the energy that you possess and your dad possesses and, and the water and all the love that is related to you, you, your consciousness, the home, and everything that you're about. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. This was a really cool experience. I hope that helps you feel better. It's cool. It was actually like everything about this is cool. It's a little weird on the ending, but this is gonna, this is really great. I'm glad that you booked the session. And I mean, I will say that water is beautiful. That is some seriously beautiful water. And it was cool to feel the divine feminine of like the, the womb that the water is being held in by Mother Earth. And you need to send positive vibes into it and gratitude and stuff like that. And, you know, don't don't get overwhelmed by your fears or concerns. Um, but, you know, if you want to just give it a whirl, why not, you know, just to see for, for your own safety or whatever. Um, it never hurts, but there is something very special about the water. <sighs> okay.
All right. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> and for those of you watching, if, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all for watching. I wish you all a wonderful day.